Hey, good morning, guys. It's Chuck at Timberbend Farms. I just want to come to you today, and um, I was going to shoot a video yesterday, and I started it, and uh, you ever have those days where you're just not feeling it? And uh, yesterday was one of those days I just couldn't, couldn't get my thoughts together as I was beginning to make a couple repairs I was wanting to show you guys, and I uh, just couldn't, uh, couldn't wrap my mind around what I exactly needed to say. So, uh, today, I just wanted to come back and kind of talk through what I did and um, give you a couple of, of ideas. Uh, we did some work on a motorhome yesterday. Uh, first thing we did yesterday, I had a drain plug on our water heater that was leaking. Uh, just this little plastic plug, and so I, I replaced it with um, a new plug and seemed to cure the problem, so I don't have a leak there anymore. And then uh, the other more important and, and bigger project that I did um, so I replaced my three house batteries. Um, we were having an issue where anytime we would uh, kind of peek out the power inside, if we were running a coffee maker, microwave, uh, maybe the water heater being on, uh, for some reason uh, it would trip over to the house batteries for a few few seconds. And usually if, if that were to, to occur, then um, when the load comes down, it should trip back to the uh, shore power. Uh, but for some reason, it wasn't doing that. And my assumption was is that the batteries were so bad, the, the house batteries that we had, they're so old and so weak that um, they wouldn't allow it to trip back. So uh, it, it was about time. We, we've had this motor home for, uh, I guess, four years now. And it's uh, it's had the same house batteries in it and come to find out they were uh, terribly undersized anyway so and uh, and under maintained by me so uh, um, not not a great combination so anyway let me show you what we put in here and um, I went to I, I will say this I went to several uh, auto parts stores uh, battery stores uh, group 31 batteries right now in the spring of 22 are hard to find um group 31 seems to be a uh, a rare character and uh the interstate didn't have them uh, a couple of auto parts stores could get their hands on maybe one or two but not all three that i needed and so finally i, I sourced these at advanced auto parts and uh, they had to actually order them in from another location but um so what i ended up with is these diehard platinum 31 em AGM batteries and uh, I wanted to go low maintenance this time instead of uh, instead of higher maintenance I, I'm uh, probably neglected the maintenance on the previous battery so I, I, I wanted to um, find something that was a little easier to take care of uh, also when I got into this yesterday and one of the other reasons I didn't record any of that is um, you know you got to make sure you get those cables back on there exactly the way they came off so as you saw I did some labeling on there with some painters tape and uh, and then when I started taking the connections apart there was a fair amount of corrosion on a lot of those terminals and had I known that in the before I started I probably would have tried to find some new terminals some new uh, new cables uh, that connect those batteries together. Um, I would have tried that so um but i was able to get those cables uh fairly clean and sealed um with that battery terminal sealer and then from what i understand the agm batteries don't corrode like that so um they uh uh, they're supposed to be better now the batteries that were in it I have them here in the back of the truck and I'll show you because I got to return these for a core but they were the Superstar group 24 um, flooded batteries and you can kind of see those were uh, well loved so um, anyway we're gonna return those today get our core back and um, truck on down the road now is this going to cure our problem that we had with the uh what, you know when it cycles over will it now cycle back to the shore power i don't know i don't know if that was the whole problem or not but i do know that those batteries were on the edge and need to be replaced so a good place to start um anyway just wanted to drop that in there for you guys today um 
If you have any other motorhome questions, uh, battery related questions, leave those in the comments and we can talk about those things. Um, I have a couple other motorhome repair videos on our uh, page and uh, any of you that's ever owned even a, a camper or a, uh, even a, a pop-up all the way up to a class A, you know there, there's gonna be things on it that have to be serviced and repaired. And uh, some of you guys out there have a ton of experience with these uh, these machines. They're incredible, and it's amazing what all they can pack into these uh, these machines. So, anyway, just um, drop us a, a note or comment, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it and see if we can help each other down the road. Catch you on the next video.